learning about fire safety. They make posters that are displayed under the dais here, in front of the dais, uh, and every year they do an outstanding job. They work so hard on it. We're so happy to have all these children here. So Pete, if you would, why don't you start off? Not here as a chairman. I think you just cut my uh, time in half by saying a lot of the things I would have said. Uh, this is the 33rd year that we're doing this. And just to let you know, back in 1983, when I was first elected a supervisor in Northampton Township, I, uh, I'm sorry, this is put on by the Philadelphia chapter, Chartered Property Casualty Underwriters, also known as CPCU. In 1983, I was the president of the Philadelphia chapter of CPCU. It's also the same year I was elected a Northampton supervisor, and when I became a board member, my responsibility was uh, public safety. And I thought, gee, what can we do in the community that uh, <coughs> would be a nice thing to have for public safety? And I contacted the then Council Rock School Board President to see if we can do something in, in the, the venue of fire safety in the home. They told us yes, and since that day, in 1984, the first contest came about, and it's continued for 33 years uh, since then. And uh, as Larry kind of said, the two things that I primarily get involved with, <coughs> is near and dear to my heart, is the welcoming and honoring our Northampton Patriots, who are military residents of Northampton Township that are going into harm's way, and uh, we call that the Patriots Flag Program, and there's 81 flags in that display representing 81 of those people. The other thing that's near and dear to my heart is this particular contest, uh, which I really love doing. <coughs> this year, um, of the 12 winners, 10 are from Northampton Township, one is from Newtown Borough, and one is from Newtown Township. Um, Posters are around the room from 1984 to the present day. The uh, CPCU organization presented their awards at the November 17th school board meeting. And this evening we're going to honor the, uh, our uh, legislators and elected officials, the children who won the uh, contest in their respective municipalities. Supervisor Chairman Larry Weinstein will present for Northampton Township. Glenn Forsyth, Fire Chief of Newtown Township's Emergency Services Department for Newtown Township. Mayor Charles Schwartz for Newtown Borough. Representative Scott Petrie, who along with himself will also prevent, uh, present for Representative Steve Santisero. And some of our state and federal officials are tied up in legislative affairs and with their conflicts could, not be with, the conflicts could not be with us this evening. So sitting in for them are Dave Gibbon for Senators Tomlinson and McElhenney, and Stacey Mulholland, De Deputy Chief of Staff, will present for Congressman Mike Fitzpatrick. They will be presenting special citations from the Congress, State House, and Senate. So Larry, Glenn, Mayor, Scott, and Stacey, and Dave, would you please join me in the floor here? Now, I'll ask Northampton Chairman Larry Weinstein uh, to start it off by saying a few words, Larry. Thank you again, Pete, for all you do for our community. Uh, we, every year, I think we're more and more impressed by the work that our youngsters do. And I think this is truly a testament, number one, to their determination to work hard and to want to get involved in fire safety, and it's also to the parents, to the grandparents, to the families, because we know that you are raising your kids the right way, you're getting them involved in aspects of the community. They don't have to do this for school, but they're doing it anyway because it's important and it's a great lesson for everyone to learn from as young as our elementary students on up on how to protect ourselves from fire. So I thank everyone for being here. I'm very grateful to see so many people and, of course, so many family members. And Pete, 
Thank you for everything you do for our community. So what the chairman has said is it's a wonderful thing to have our children involved and I think the most important thing is the lessons that they learn in the course of doing these projects and being able to be com become community involved children because community involved children breed community involved adults. So thank you all for this opportunity and thank you all of you for taking time to participate. Thank you. Well I'd like to echo what everyone else has said. I'd just like to add one thing. For all you young people that are doing this, hopefully you'll grow up and become a volunteer fireman. Because we can certainly use you. So on behalf of Newtown Township, thank you, and it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Pete. I just want to say briefly that the biggest enemy we have here is complacency, and we learn all these little things now. Uh, don't forget them. It's something we have to keep working on as a team together. And uh, thank you for doing this, guys. And education is a lifelong endeavor. And so uh, don't forget that. Always keep learning. Thank you. State Senators Thomason and McElhenney, and presenting for Congressman Fitzpatrick, Stacey Mahal. Thank you very much, and to all the young people out here, I'd like to say, hopefully this isn't your this is your first township meeting, and hopefully not your last. Stay involved in your community throughout your um, years as kids, and when you grow up and um, raise your families too. And this is a great start, and glad to see that you're all here tonight and um, getting recognized for your efforts. So congratulations. I'm glad to say this guy's been here more times than anyone else up here. So Scott? <laughs> It'd be good or bad, right? Um, so I want to address to your young contestants. Um, we do learn from you. I read every one of your projects before you got here. They're all very impressive, and I remembered and learned a couple of things from each one of you. Um, just share with you that, you know, when you get a citation like this from the state, these are not given out very often. In fact, very, very infrequently. So that's telling you that the entire state and the entire community believe that what you've done is really important. And it's important because we live in a community where fires can take place and people can be injured, and we don't want that. And so by helping educate everyone about fire safety, uh, we help prevent uh, those kind of calamities that cost lives and, and property. And I'll just share with you a quick story, um, because it also reminds me at this time of year that we should thank our firemen and emergency management personnel for what they do. So we were out at a fire station in Pittsburgh with my committee, and uh, we, we watched them go out on a call, and we were learning about their fire situation. One of my staffers, who's probably about 110 pounds soaking wet, put on all the gear they wear, the breathing apparatus, the helmet, the entire gear, which is about 70 pounds. And she got down on her hands and knees, and I looked at her, and I said, Christine, what are you doing? And she said, I want to feel like what it's like to be a firefighter. And I remembered that's right, if you're a firefighter, you don't stand up tall or you can't see. You'll, the smoke will be in your eyes. You have to get down low. And she's crawling on her hands and knees with uh, 70 pounds of gear on. So thank you again for what you do. Thank you for reminding us. And parents, fantastic job uh, with these children. So these projects are really, really remarkable. Thank you. For And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Pat Riley, the president-elect of the Philadelphia chapter of CPCU, who will be announcing the names of the winners. Good evening, everybody. Um, as, as Pete mentioned, I'm with the uh, CPCU Society. Um, we have 25,000 members worldwide, which makes up about 4% of the property and casualty insurance industry as a whole. Um, I'm here representing the Philadelphia chapter. Um, this is one of, out of all the events that we have and the programs that we sponsor, co-sponsor, this is one of our favorite every year, um, just because of the ability to um, um, involve the next generation and also to raise awareness uh, of an important problem in the community. Um, and just to keep risk management and fire prevention and fire safety on uh, the front of your mind, especially during the holiday season when 
Uh, the lights are up and the, the trees are in the house. Um, just want to thank Pete, first of all, for keeping this program going. He's a, a big reason why it's uh, been going for 33 years. Um, also, everyone else who helps to um, keep this going throughout the years, the Council Rock School District, um, all the teachers who help with these uh, projects, and most importantly, the uh, parents and the students, um, who, of course, are the ones uh, doing these projects. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to um, announce the names of the winning students. Um, when I announce your name, please come up to receive your congratulations and citations and uh, stand near your project. Uh, for the first and second grade category, uh, first place, Emily Erdman from Churchville Elementary. Second place, Mariella Rappaport from Rolling Hills Elementary, first grade, Northampton Township. Sorry about this. Nicholas, eventually we're going to get you one more. <laughs> Fourth place, Alexander Gromosek, Churchville Elementary, second grade, North Newtown Borough. Hold it, hold it. 
Sorry. Wait, is Maria here? No. No, she didn't come up. Okay. Go hold that for her. You want to hold it for two hundred years? Who's next? Nick. Sarah Fowler. Okay. Fourth place from Newtown Borough, Sarah Tyler, Goodnow Elementary, fourth grade. Next up for the fifth and sixth grade category, first place from Northampton Township, Nicole Gua, Richborough Elementary, sixth grade. Second place from Northampton Township, Suara Patel, Holland Elementary, <coughs> fifth grade. Not here? Suara's not here? Okay. Third place from Northampton Township, Griffin Demetsky, Welsh Elementary, 6th grade. And 4th place from Northampton Township, Eden Cower, Welsh Elementary, 5th grade. confusion a little bit there. Uh, we'll make sure that two students that didn't come here this evening uh, will get those uh, certificates and proclamations to them. So thank you Stacy, Mayor Glenn, Scott, Dave, and Pat for taking time of your busy schedule to be here with us this evening. Are any of the teachers or principals here this evening? If so, could you stand to be recognized? Yeah. I know we have a couple school board members here. Uh, Denise Brooks, I saw former school board members Bruce Stam and Patty Sexton. Any, did I miss anybody else? No. Uh, thank you for your participation in this over the years, too. Uh, thank you, kids, for your excellent entries and your winning work. Make sure you do well in school. These are important years for you, especially thanks to the parents and teachers and principals, not only here, but who also took the time to get involved. You have great kids, our communities are a lot safer because of you. Uh, if you'd like to, we can have uh, everyone pose for a group photo up front. After that's finished, if you want to call a recess so that we can clear the room, you guys can then can take your projects back with you, and then we'll have your seats available for the uh, people that uh, gave up some of their seats for you to, to be able to sit here. So. Let's gather up here. Kids in front, adults behind you. Okay. Patrick. Push it a little bit. Apparatus. One, two, 
Okay, everybody has enough? 